this is politics. So, as like the saying goes, like you know, the possible say you're doing something without a reason. Everybody gets reason with me to do something, and definitely you doing something, you must have a reason. And Peter B is here to tell us the reason why he picked uh, Yusuf. Uh, that he, Baba Amin as his vice presidential candidate uh, for the 2023 general election as a presidential election. What's up? What's up, my people? Welcome back to The Voice TV. It's your boy. Hi, Chief Pera. Normally, you know, I see the B when it comes to entertainment. We got you guys go out. So guys, today I'm going to be sharing a video with you, a video, an interview between Peter B and BBC when he was asked uh, how he came about the name uh, Yusuf Dati Baba Ahmed and he explained what he, the qualities he was looking for in uh, somebody that was going to become his vice and he later came up with uh, Yusuf and I uh, just watched the video, listen to what Peter B said, how he uh, defined or how he uh, put everything together just to let us know that this is the reason why uh, Yusuf Dati Baba Ahmed is the best choice when it comes to uh, being his VP. So just listen to what he said and a big shout out to you guys. Peace. Dati Baba Ahmed. Why Dati Baba Ahmed? Well, like I've said before, that it was something we have researched, consulted, and found him eminently qualified for this position, considering his background as one of the young, brightest Nigerians who have made a success of his chosen endeavors and can contribute greatly in our commitment to build a better Nigeria, to move Nigeria from consumption to production. Um, uh, currently, the President Muhammad Buhari was a military officer before. He has said several things during his campaign, including uh, making sure that he's going to end insecurity. You are not a, a, a military, from a military background. How do you intend to tackle insecurity if you succeed? Well, there's, um, for me, I don't want us to look at yesterday and today. Those who think about yesterday and today will miss tomorrow. We're talking about tomorrow. And our commitment is to deal with insecurity decisively in two ways. One is to start pulling people out of poverty. The more you pull people out of poverty, the more you reduce criminality. And secondly, to man and provide adequate measures for security agencies to effectively do their work and we will make sure they do their work people are worried that some of your uh, base supporters uh, are, are engaging in a campaign that is not really right especially on social media there is a lot of uh, insults and fights what would you say about that well let me say that those people are not actually and entirely my supporters. They are actually people being, uh, the, some of them are actually people, people infiltration by opponents claiming to be my supporters or supporters of Labour Party. But let me assure you, I'm running this election as a Nigerian. I don't want people to vote for me because I'm from the Southeast. I don't want people to vote for me because I'm from Southwest, South South, Northwest, Northeast or North Central. I want them to vote for me because I'm a Nigerian who has the competence to mobilize the Nigerian people into turning around our country. I'm a committed Nigeria. I believe in Nigeria. That's why I said that what I want to do is to secure, unite, and build a productive Nigeria. And I know what to do. Now that I've been opportuned to have 
somebody with similar background, the team we are going to bring around will be team What you guys said from Peter B. in case you didn't know, I believe you now know the reason why Peter B. chose the Yusuf Babadati Ahmed. Uh, Yusuf Tati Baba Ahmed. Sorry, uh, at the end of the day, you know, see. Uh, hey. So, you guys don't hear what the Peter B. talk now. So, I believe, see, you know, like you said, you know, people don't really talk, see, or many people, I not really uh, blame them, but I feel, see, most of them, they do this thing uh, deliberately. They are doing it because they are looking for a way to uh, tarnish the image of uh, the good people supporting Peter B. They are stabbing people and Peter B's uh, fans or Peter B's followers as a toxic or whatever name uh, they are calling them, like uh, Renu Mokiri tagging uh, uh, Peter B supporters to IPOB, something like that. I believe they are just doing it uh, for for their selfish gain, just in a way to demarcate the whole movement. But like Peter B said, those people that are attacking people doing those things are not his fans. These people are are uh, the oppositions trying their best to bring the whole movement down. That's all in talk. So I believe you said don't watch the video in your mind on the let me know what you think about Peter B said and uh the whole stuff. A big shout out to you guys. Peace. <laughs>